OK, let's spin the wheel. The first subject is religion. Who wants to go in that? Tess. Um, I'm religious, uh, not very popular these days. It, 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 um, it surprises me how much people don't know about my religion, Islam, given how much it's in the news. Um, I've got a... <laughs> <laughs> we, we've nailed that. Um, <laughs> I've got a good friend called Jonathan. We've been friends for years. He doesn't know that much about me. A couple of months ago, me and Jonathan were in a nice restaurant having a nice meal. Uh, next to us, a table, minding their own business. We're minding our own business. Everyone's having a wonderful time. Halfway through my meal, the balloon closest to me from the birthday table, it burst. And I just shouted out in my excitement, Jesus Christ, <laughs> Jonathan lost his damn mind. <laughs> but, oh, Jesus Christ, is it? <laughs> what happened to your Allah and Muhammad now, mate? <laughs> Jonathan, what have you won? He went, nah, mate, it's just you bang on about being Muslim, yeah? But in that moment when you were scared, when you were fearful for your safety, you didn't think of Allah, you didn't think of Muhammad, your mind went straight to a Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. What does that shit say about you? Rubbish Muslim. Ah! <laughs> All right, Jonathan, I can clearly see this is the best day of your life. <laughs> Three things. Thing number one, you should be aware of this, but if you're not, for Muslims, Jesus, that's our vice captain. <laughs> uh, secondly, me just invoking Jesus Christ is just me invoking a British cultural saying. If anything, it shows how well integrated I am. Thank you very much. <laughs> and thirdly, most importantly, Jonathan, if at that moment there was a loud bang, I shouted in Arabic, you'd have shit yourself! <laughs> Thank you very much,